Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. This episode covers true threats, fighting words, and resisting, and is brought to us by California Body Cam's channel. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. Channels like California Body Cam are a valuable resource to the public and deserve recognition, so be sure to check out his channel for the unedited footage. Before we dive into the interaction, I want to give a big thanks to the sponsor of this episode, Rocket Money. I recently discovered that I have 4 million members using Rocket Money. Rocket Money scanned me! The police department pulled over a man just outside his place of employment in Logan Township, New Jersey. While yeah. she was conducting the stop, another employee, who we will refer to as Mr. Coworker, walked over and began to speak to her. The interaction that followed was recorded on the body cameras of the various officers involved. Hello, I'm Officer Clements to Logan Township Police Department. Do you have a license, registration, insurance? Uh, my, my license number, I thought I broke Shit, I'm still driving around with my temporary license on my Hellcat. Okay. My GGs, that shit expired like five months ago. I lost my license. I don't know where the fuck that shit at. I'm playing, of course, I'm playing, of course, I never do that, of course, I'm playing, I'm playing. Okay. That's no problem. What did I get stopped for? Uh, so that plate cover on the back, so you can't have a tinted plate cover. The frame is fine, but the plate, it makes it difficult for the plate to see, so that is not allowed. Hello? I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I understand that, that's fine, but I'm gonna stop. If you could just... Go back over there, please. <laughs> Black people always talk like, you're not talking to me like that. You got me fucked up. Daily, thank you for the 32 uh, viewer raid, gang. Yo, kick streamers are very nice. They're always raiding people. They say, you ain't talking to me like that. You got me fucked up. That's not like an RDC skit. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a 429 Blackie talking back. Yeah, I'm gonna pin him down, boys. Need some backup. Let's put somebody else slide out here. You know who this guy is? Yeah, I know who he is. What's his uh, name? Uh, oh, you gotta ask him. You don't know his name? I can't. I mean, I, 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 I can't do it. Yeah, some dude just walked up to my shop and told me that he's going to uh, beat me up. Patrol woman Clements radios for backup, claiming that Mr. Coworker told her that he was going to beat her up. While the body camera did not capture all of Mr. Coworker's speech, that? the last two words he said clearly seemed to be, and I'm quoting, effed up. And patrol woman Clements later stated that Mr. Up. Coworker told her he was going to, quote unquote, F her up. Although the First Amendment ordinarily no, prohibits states up. from criminalizing speech, as the Supreme Court explained in the 2003 case of he Virginia versus Black, up. quote, the protections afforded by the First Amendment. Now, first of all, W man's in the car not giving a name up. I feel like I got some stupid ass homies that'd be like, oh yeah, that's Josh. Who Josh? Oh yeah, the streamer nigga. Your rage, you know what I'm saying? He lives over here, though. He's a brower type shit. Yeah, that's my dog type shit. He cool, though. He cool, though. Are not absolute. And we have long recognized. Some Sean shit, like Sean, not knowing that he snitched. <laughs> that the government may regulate certain categories of expression consistent with the Constitution. One of these categories is true threats, which the court defined in the Black case as encompassing, quote, those statements where the speaker means to communicate a serious expression of an intent to commit an act of unlawful violence to a particular individual or group of individuals. The court also recognized that, quote, intimidation in the constitutionally prescribable sense of the word is a type of true threat, where a speaker directs a threat to a person or group of persons with the intent intent of placing the victim in fear of bodily harm or death. Under Section 2C 12-3 of the New Jersey Statutes, which defines the crime of terroristic threats, quote, A person is guilty of a crime of the third degree if he threatens to commit any crime of violence with the purpose to terrorize another, or in reckless disregard of the risk of causing such terror or inconvenience. The nigga say you got me fucked up, bitch. Yes. According to the jury it's instructions for this statute, quote, The words or actions of the defendant must be of such a nature as to convey menace or fear of a crime of violence to the 
ordinary person. It is not a violation of this statute if the threat expresses fleeting anger or was made merely to alarm. Similarly, Section 2C33-4 of the New Jersey Statutes, which codifies the offense of harassment, states that, quote, a person commits a petty disorderly person's offense if, with purpose to harass another, he subjects another to striking, kicking, shoving, or other offensive touching, or threatens to do so. Depending on the exact words that Mr. Coworker spoke, it is possible that he could be convicted of either of these offenses if he actually threatened to cause physical harm to Patrolwoman he Clements. Didn't know. And- Understand the lingo he was using. And his words could be considered a so-called true threat or another category of unprotected speech. You don't have your insurance? Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right, that's no problem. 44, just to clarify, this is a pedestrian that walked up on your stop. Can you give a brief description, please? Yeah, it's a black male. He works at Lineage. He's about 35, red pants, navy blue hoodie, orange traffic vest. All right, listen. Let me check on this. Uh, let's uh, see, my uh, registration is just running right at two. Yeah, I'll check on this, and uh, when I come back, if you have your insurance, no problem. Thank you. Sir, you need to go back inside. Yeah, you need to go back inside. Let's go. I want to stop. 44 seconds. That y'all always harassing blacks on shit. I heard him say that. I'm okay. The driver's being cooperative. I attached him, but uh, this now is kind of just lingering, yelling at me. All right, copy. 44, I'll be coming up on you in a second here. This guy look like he can. Black male, red pants, navy blue hoodie, orange traffic vest. He is inside the gates at Lineage. There is a few more people approaching me now. Aiden said, what not be one? What be one on what? Aiden can't be me on one of you on anything in his life. You guys are good. Good morning. I'm sorry, could you go back over there? I want to stop. It'll be two seconds. I just came, I'm the supervisor. I just came to see. He works here. That's why yeah, I, I understand. I'll, and I'll be I'm clear with him in two seconds. And then I'm just asking you, is, is, is everything Yeah, right? everything's fine, right, and right. I'll be clear in two seconds. Right. Can I ask you what he stopped for? Yeah, he was stopped for the plate cover. That's it. Already? So I want to ask you. Please, All right. You know, I'm not a problem. That nigga came swooping in. God damn, yeah. Patrolman Andy Kalishian arrives on the scene and approaches Mr. Coworker and his supervisor. No, I'm on the supervisor. I just came to check on my employee. That's it. She's yeah, this be- first she off, explained. No, first, yeah, first off, man, I did walk up and no, I didn't walk. She wasn't talking about me. Okay. She called about Yeah, what's and what's what's your deal, man? I want to stop. Yeah, sure. yeah but you don't need to be you don't need to be flapping your gums at us. I got you. I live here. I got you. I'm gonna speak to him. No, now, now, he's, now you're under arrest. He says, "Suck my dick." Oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> Niggas. Oh, you wally, bro. Just. <laughs> you say he's under arrest? What did he just say? Open your gums at us. I got you. I live here. I got you. I'm going to speak to <laughs> Bro, you're not helping yourself, gay. Just shut the fuck up, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, fuck. No, now, now, he's, now you're under arrest. Now you're under arrest. Now, now you're under arrest. Turn around. Turn around. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Turn around. Don't resist, bro. Bro, they can't lock me up. I'm going to do this. Can he arrest him for that? You can talk shit to police, right? You, you, you tell the police to suck your dick, you, you get arrested? Me personally, I ain't doing that because, like, bro, why? I ain't like, bro. I'm just trying to go home and play some Valorant. I got dogs to feed. You know what I'm saying? I need no extra bullshit. I'm hungry as fuck. I need my Chipotle and my vinaigrette on the side. I got to stream the stream later. I ain't trying to deal with no fucking police. So I'm going to shut my, my little stupid ass up. You feel me? Hit me, bro. Listen yeah. to me. Put Stop. this hand behind your back. Stop. 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 Oh, you going to put them as tight as you can? I'm not like going I to. Like I explained to you, sir, you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Why are you arresting me at work, bro? I didn't. Dude, I ain't break no rules. No law, get off me. I'm bringing my arm. Get my boss, yo. Yo, get that up. Oh, relax, all right? Bro, that too tight. All right, we will loosen it up, okay? You relax. Bro, I just lost my daughter. You hear me? Okay. All right, okay. That's fine. Bro, that's right. All right, we will figure this out, okay? Dude, I'm sorry for your loss, right? But relax, okay? We're just gonna roll you over and th- let you catch your breath, all right? I know her constantly. Roll over. Her. Once we get you up, we'll we'll loosen your cuff. Yeah. What's your name? I'll give you my name, bro. Came up on me. So I asked you why you were flapping your gums. 
Hey, Dawson, you were supposed to me. Your response to me was suck my d Hey, you talking with my your wild boss right my gums. So now you're I'm under arrest. I'm checking with my co Well, now you're under arrest. Okay. For using the words you had to use in front of everybody. I want to talk to my boss. No. Yo, yo, huh. yo, yo. It's not worth it, man. It's not Bro, worth it. I'm trying to it's relax. It's not worth it. My phone not even on me. It's That's not what I'm trying to tell you. Relax. <laughs> relax, bud. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? Is that funny? My guy's going through it, bro. That's not funny. Dead ass. He's doing his breathing exercise and shit. He's, he's, he's feeling a lot of emotions. He's like, he's going through a lot right now, gang. It's not worth it, man. It's not bro, worth it. I'm trying to it's relax. Not worth it. My phone not even on me. It's That's not what I'm worth to tell you. Relax. Relax, bud. Alright. Hell, let me go! Let's just put him in here. You know I just lost my daughter, bro. They arrested me Can for you nothing. Do me a favor? Can you calm down? This isn't gonna get you any better. Take that anger down tonight. Have a seat. Safe, please. Alright? I did 11 years on parole. They keep doing the yeah, to me. This year. They ain't gonna solve anything. Peyton, is this who approached you? Yeah, he told me that he was gonna. Okay. Yeah, so his response to me, when I asked why he's flapping his gums to me while I was talking to the security officer was, suck my Now he's under arrest for disorderly. You're not going to use that language. You got employees out over there. I was speaking with him as well. I'm not having that. So. Patrolman Kalishian explains that he arrested Mr. Coworker for disorderly conduct due to the words he chose to use to express his dissent. Under Section 2C33-2 of the New Jersey... Please don't play by that stuff. I did. That's some silky shit, bro. You can't say that shit. That's over for you. Say something, I'll say. It's done. It's clear. You under arrest, my boy. The statutes, quote, nah, A person sign. is guilty of a petty disorderly person's offense if, in a public place, and with purpose to offend the sensibilities of a hearer, or in reckless disregard of the probability of so doing, he addresses unreasonably loud and offensively coarse or abusive language, given the circumstances of the person present and the setting of the utterance to any person present. The statute defines the word public as including, quote-unquote, places of business, so it is probable that a court would conclude that the encounter occurred in a public place. Nonetheless, it does not seem likely that a court would find that Mr. Coworker's speech was, quote-unquote, unreasonably loud, as he spoke at a normal yeah, volume and did. was outdoors. Further, even if Mr. Coworker's speech fit the requirements of the disorderly conduct statute, a New Jersey court would almost certainly conclude that it was protected by the First Amendment. In the 1971 right. case of Cohen, much, yeah, 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 First Amendment, bitch, for you talking about versus California, the Supreme Court overturned a citizen's conviction for wearing a jacket emblazoned with a profanity, holding that quote, the state may not, consistently with the First and Fourteenth Amendments, make the simple public display here involved of this single four-letter expletive yeah, a criminal offense. Criminal. However, it is important to note that the court clarified that this use of profanity did not rise to the level of so-called fighting words, defined as, quote, those personally abusive epithets which, when addressed to the ordinary citizen, are, as a matter of common knowledge, inherently likely to provoke violent reaction, and emphasize that, now quoting again, while the four-letter word displayed by Cohen in relation to the draft is not uncommonly employed in a personally provocative fashion, in this instance, it was clearly not directed to the person of the hearer, and that, now quoting again, no individual actually or likely to be present could reasonably have regarded the words as a direct personal insult. Additionally, in the 1987 case of Houston versus Hill, the Supreme Court recognized that, quote, Damn, so you're telling me free foozy right now. The First Amendment protects a significant amount of verbal criticism and challenge directed at police officers, and that, now quoting again, the freedom of individuals verbally to oppose or challenge police action without thereby risking arrest is one of the principal characteristics by which we distinguish a free nation from a police state. 
Nonetheless, the court also noted that, quote, the freedom verbally to challenge police action is not without limits, of course. We have recognized that fighting words are not constitutionally protected. Accordingly, some jurisdictions have concluded that profane insults directed at police officers are fighting words and therefore can be criminally punished. For instance, in the 2018 case of State v. Hale, the 6th District Court of Appeals of Ohio upheld an individual's disorderly conduct conviction for directing several obscene remarks, including including the same phrase that Mr. Coworker used here at a police officer, concluding that they were fighting words that, quote, would reasonably incite the average person to retaliate. However, in the 2003 case of Johnson v. Campbell, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, which has jurisdiction over New Jersey, held that, quote, swear words spoken to a Chang. police officer do not provide probable cause for an arrest for disorderly conduct because Nigga the words... Nigga, talk too much. You lost me. I understand it, though, but you lost me, gangy. You lost me. You talk too damn fucking much, bro. I don't need to know every fucking inch. You know what I'm saying? Walking. Fucking walking. It's gonna piss me off, nigga. Mm. W? Nice. Nice.